mountains made me the person that I am. And I don't know, these guys gave me so much and I don't know what I have to do without mountains. I'm far from skiing. There's so much things that I want to ski more. I hope I will be living till a hundred years and uh, skiing all the way and being healthy and share this thing with my bodies and giving this further to my kids and yeah, I want to do this for a long time. To be honest, I don't know much about this place. All I know is that a guy contacted us and told us to come over so he can show us his mountains. We are in this old lift going up in the fog, uncertain about what this adventure might bring. Yet, my intuition tells me we're here for a very good reason. guys so happy to see you uh, my name is uh, Paul uh, friends used to call me Pogo and uh, I'm a mountain worker I work in the mountains this is the name of the valley Bulia I love it because it's that wild and there's no uh, ski slopes or anything like this is just wild all around. Back in bad times, as many places that I see, I learned to appreciate more and more what I have home. I like a lot seeing other mountains and I love that, but the more I see, the more I love this place. Yeah, this feels like home for me. These little guys, uh, there was a time when um, every day when I was king, I cut a piece from a wood. This is a day. And I did this for almost 10 years, I believe, in a row. Those big ones have, you know, their own stories. This was a big avalanche, uh, which caught me and three buddies. And we got all buried and we, we had luck. We're, we're still living every day since then. We're lucky. I have a good friend, which uh, was uh, back in the day seller, selling some skis. And uh, I think that guy told me about you guys. And I'm really happy that this thing happened and you did come here. There's a little, just a little bit more to go. Maybe we'll get some to some spicy spot. Yeah, I think I can come like this. It should be fine. Okay, we're going wild. <laughs> <laughs> we're on the right way. Like, where are we going? King, buddy. You guys are here to have a good time and to share the mountains and yeah, to enjoy it.
Schwarz-Weiß. Barbecue machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not like I'm not either. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. Plums. Mm. yeah, yeah. You drink from the bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. cheers, buddies. <laughs> yeah, welcome. I work in a mountain rescue team. This is my job. And basically, we get to rescue guys like you and like me that have a problem and they, they are in big trouble. Back at the time, I didn't like so much school, you know. I don't want to spend my life doing something on the computer. I just, hey, I, I, maybe I should go mountain rescue and work there. I've been in the team. I was a kid, like nine years years old. Yes. Thanks a lot. Usually, when the guys has have problems, they call, but the, the the problem is that they don't call at midday, with the sun above, so yeah. the heli could fly. Yeah, yeah. They usually call in the evening or maybe in the night when there's fog, and they realize that hey, buddy, we 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 have no chance of getting out from here alone. So, yeah. and at that moment, heli. It's just a dream, it yeah. cannot be there the heli, so we need to go skinning. You know what, what will, would be the biggest goal that I can think of? It's to educate the community, you know? Have an educated community, it's, it's something great, you know, because if the guys know how to do it on their own, that would be so good for them. And I see that through this work, if I help the community, it's the biggest thing that I could do. So this is me when I'm at the job and I'm a serious guy. But when I'm at the job, I come to you guys and say, hey buddies, uh, maybe you shouldn't ride there because it's very dangerous. And yeah. you, you put our lives in danger. We w won't want that. The best part about this job is that when I'm not working, when I don't have to rescue nobody, I get to ride for, for me, I get to, to ride, you know, I get to see this mountain and get to ski a lot. Pogo is bringing us to some, some good places, I think. <laughs> Unreal, this is so beautiful. Yeah,
besides being blown away by the beautiful terrain and mountains of Romania, we are the most happy with getting to know Pogo. We absolutely love this guy. Exploring together his backyard and feeling his love and passion for his mountains was something very unique. It's more than just the skiing. Our connection with Pogo and his way of living has truly inspired us. Yeah, man! Yeah! It's been already a gift that you came in and you shared your fresh vision and you shared, you know, the way you see the mountains. For me, it was very interesting to, you know, to absorb this from you. I'm really happy that this happened.